Carapiquiba is a municipality in the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil. It is part of the metropolitan region of Sao Paulo. The population is 403,183 in an area of 34.55 square kilometers. It is one of the most densely populated municipalities in the state of Sao Paulo. Before the first white man arrived, the region which today is Carapiquiba was inhabited by indigenous people. The hamlet was founded by José de Anquieta. Afonso Sardina settled there with his farm with the will to use the indigenous people as a workforce. He then built a chapel. The indigenous people soon reacted to the European occupation, and rushed into the jungle. By the 17th century, it was part of the recently created municipality of Santana do Parnaíba. Nothing much has changed in the hamlet during this century and the most of the 18th one. From 1770 on, however, the city and its surroundings started to change noticeably as new villages were settled, like Embu and Cochia. Houses were built around the main chapel, in which several entrepreneurs lived. Until the Sorocabana Railway was implemented, in 1870, little was developed in the village. However, when a station was opened near the section of the tracks that run through the city, many people started to live in the city. During the first half of the 20th century, agriculture started to play a role in the economy of the village, because of the climate and quality of the land. A bus line starting in Brewery, running through Carapiquiba, Osasco and ending in Pinheiros was created to take people to Sao Paulo in alternate itineraries. In 1948, Carapiquiba became a district of Cochia, when it became independent from Sao Paulo. A year later, it became part of Brewery, also as a district. In 1952 the parish Nossa Senhora Aparecida was built, and is now known as Igreja Amarela, and the city population kept on increasing. The post-war time saw the vertiginous decrease of the prospecting in Minas Gerais, which led a large number of people to go to Sao Paulo State, a number of them settling in the city. In the early 1960s, a movement in favor of the independence of Carapiquiba was led by the mayor of Barueri, Carlos Capriotti, and the district earned its city status in March 1965 and 2007-2008. The city gained national attention due to the Paturas Park murders. According to Professor Eduardo de Almeida Navarro, titular professor at the Faculté de Filosofia, Literus e Ciencias Humanas of University of Sao Paulo, the name has a controversial origin and may come from the Tupi language or lingua geral of Sao Paulo and may have different significations, some people say that it may also come from Coraipiqui Bay. Name given by Indians to a small river delimiting a border between the city with Osasco and Cochia. The border with Barueri is a large plain formed by the side of the Rio Chiate. The exploration of sand in the area was so intensive that a large crater was formed. However, during the 1960s, the government of Sao Paulo State started a series of works to alter the route of the river, and the destruction of the wall between the river and the crater led to the flooding of it. Now, the place has become an artificial lake called Lagoa de Carapiquiba. 8,000 liters of sewage from the central, western and southern portions of the city of Sao Paulo pass through the lake towards Barueri. The average altitude is 717 meters and the climate is in general a humid subtropical climate. As of 2005, the city has a GDP of 1,915,285,000 Brazilian Hiash. Oh, 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 and a GDP per capita of 5,004 Brazilian Hiash Carapiquiba bus terminal under construction as of October 2018. The city is served by the Line 8 of Sao Paulo commuter rail, having two stations within the area of the municipality and a third one just after the border with Osasco. Three bus services serve the city, ETT Carapiquiba and Del Rey Transportes, with municipal and intermunicipal lines, and Via Sao Osasco, with intermunicipal lines only. There are no highways crossing Carapiquiba, though the Rado Mario Covas marks most of the border with Osasco and provides some accesses to the city as well as serving as the main connection to the other highways and the city of Sao Paulo itself. The Rodovia Castela Branco passes just north of the city, in Barueri. It is also possible to access Carapiquiba from the Rodovia Raposo de Varas, which runs just south of it in the city of Cochia, and from Osasco via the Avenida das Autonomistas. Thanks for watching.